Before we perform, perform a surgical wash, uh, you need to be wearing correct, correct uh, face clothing. Your hair needs to be completely covered. Uh, for gentlemen who wear it, you've got beards, you should wear a special hat that covers the beard as well. You also need to wear a, face, a surgical face mask. Um, your face clothing should be clean. Uh, if your sleeves are a bit long, you need to roll them up so they don't get wet uh, when you perform the surgical wash. Okay. Um, to, uh, to put the face mask on, you just handle it by the ties, really. There's a little metal strip there to bend around your nose and tie the top of your head. Okay, we do have face masks that are complete. Uh, also have a visor to protect your eyes and for certain procedures where there is a danger of contamination, spray contamination from body fluids, you must wear a visor. If you're using power tools, you must also always wear a visor. Okay, so now we're ready to perform surgical wash. I've opened my uh, gown ready. I'm now going to the idea of such a wash is to wash and refigure it with the soap down to your elbows. And you operate the taps without actually touching the taps. Luckily, our soap dispensers and taps have got sensors on, so we don't need to actually touch the taps. The soap that we're using is an antiseptic solution. And here in the UK, we use some choice of Hippotane, which is chlorhexidine, or iodine. Down to it, but usually the head retained. Usually applying five mils of soap from fingertips to elbows. Sometimes these soap dispensers are not very generous, you have to apply a little bit more. So, this is the first wash. So, apply the soap by rubbing palms together five times, backs of your hands five times each hand. In between your fingers, on the knuckles, on each hand, and don't forget your thumbs. The surgical wash, we proceed down to the wrist again. Both arms and also down towards the elbows. We then activate the wash again, and we bring this from fingertips to elbows. You've got to be careful not to wet your clothing while you're doing this. Let the water drain off your elbows, and ideally over the sink so you don't spill water on the scrubbing floor, which can make it very, very slippy and very dangerous. At this point, we open a scrub brush. Okay. Now, once you've done your first wash from your fingertips to your elbows and rinse that soap off, you need to get a sterile surgical brush with a nail pick. And under running water, you should clean your fingernails underneath for the first surgical wash of the day. Clean under each fingernail, under running water. Again, try not to splash your clothing, which can be a bit tricky sometimes. We discard the nail pick into the bin. Wet the nail brush. And apply some soap to the nail brush and scrub the fingernails. So, just the fingernails. You shouldn't really scrub your, any skin because if you scrub any skin on your fingers and your hands and your arms, uh, you're going to damage the skin. And if you do this procedure five, ten times a day, for surgical procedures, it, it soon dries out your skin. So when you think it else, I'll do water. Apply soap to the sponge. And again, you're washing from fingertips down to the forearms now. You don't need to wash right down to your elbows.
across the soap. The whole surgical wash procedure takes about five minutes. But the instructions are under the bottles if, and if people do read the bottle instructions. It tells you that the soap solution should be in contact with the skin for a minimum of two minutes. So that's the actual soap solution, not mainly water. So you have to make sure you've got good lather from fingertips down to your forearms. And the soap is in contact with your skin for two minutes. So it is handy to have a clock in theatre, and from where I'm standing, I can see the clock and I'm timing myself for this surgical wash. Discard this nail brush into the bin. Rinse from fingertips to elbows again. And then this is the final wash now. So again, soap all over hands, fingers, and your forearms. And again, a good wash five times the back of each hand. Palm to palm. Knuckles. Don't forget your thumbs, your wrists, down to your forearms, and rinse off. Again, making sure the water stays in the water trough and not on the floor. 